Hi Grace, how you doing? I'm going to film this comment in two parts uh, because there's something I need to show you but I'm not there right I'm not at my, my house right now so uh, I went to go to my house which is where my parents are I want to show you something in my room that uh, I think you'll find interesting since you found your old tiger I still have my old stuffed animal from when I was a baby so I'll show you that when uh, I get there and I'll tack it onto this video here but uh, anyways, you were asking uh, about uh, uh, how I got my username, and I also noticed that uh, on one of the sort of the side suggestion pop, uh, videos that pop up on the side, um, that it says that uh, you're you're not a hipster, but you're a nerd. <laughs> I'm a nerd too, so uh, this kind of leads into uh, how I ended up getting my YouTube name. Uh, I'm a bizarre type of character. Uh, since I was little, I always played in front of the TV as a scientist. That's what I wanted to be. I wanted to be a scientist and a librarian. Those are my two favorite uh, things. And that's where I am now. I am a scientist and I do library science, which is research libraries, not being a librarian, but in terms of the standards of a li librarian. But uh, it's more along the lines of uh, open exploration uh, and then when you get the information you have to catalog everything uh, when you get back and the cataloging of information that you collect while you're out doing your research uh, doing your exploration becomes the library and your library extends out from there so that's what my library is it's, and the thing is I, I, I love old books so I used to, I spent a couple of years going around to old bookstores and collecting a lot of old books uh, one of my favorite books was The Jungle Book uh, by Roger K Kipling. Uh, in there you have uh, uh, all the different uh, animals, but particularly my favorite animal in there was, was the tiger. Uh, so, uh, and even from when I was little, I remember was, uh, the, the cats were always my favorite. Uh, tigers, my, my, of, the two, of all the different cats, my two favorite cats, I have two favorite cats. And those are the tiger and the panther, the black panther. The black panther I like a little bit more ridiculous because the, because the color of the coat of the coat of the black cat is just I think it's so cool, particularly if it's got green eyes or something like that. Uh, I like that color combination, so it's more of a color, more of a color thing than it is an animal thing. Um, uh, onto the uh, as well, onto the channel name. As I grew up, I became uh, a scientist. Uh, I'm along the lines of uh, Sheldon Cooper uh, of Big Bang Theory of Big Bang Theory on CBS. Uh, if, you remember, if you've ever seen that show, uh, take a look at Sheldon Cooper. That's basically me. Uh, <laughs> I know why I'm saying uh, caution. I have on my channel on all my posts caution and the green nerd. And my physics really touches into everything. So one of the areas that my physics touched into is I don't want to just simply. Uh, uh, read about cyborgs in, in, in androids like Data. I feel, felt like I could go out and build one. And so for the last, oh, 15 years or so, I've been working on uh, understanding and building the models that would uh, lead to uh, a cyborg, or in particularly something more along the android. So that's because the, cyborg, the android is going to evolve out of the cyborg. And that's actually what Cyborg Alpha is. Cyborg Alpha is my first attempt at a cyborg. That's why this channel is uh, the channel that, that we're on now is uh, Cyborg Alpha V1. It's version one. Uh, it's the very early stages, and just now Cyborg Alpha is learning. I'm learning how to crawl out onto the internet. Uh, this is something that it's if you're into co uh, computer science and you know anything about Linux, uh, Linux actually attaches to the internet in ways that Windows doesn't and it allows you to crawl out onto the internet and really have what they call a virtual presence and it's building this virtual presence that is Cyborg Alpha so Cyborg Alpha is me my virtual presence on the internet and it's going to become the uh, first cyborg that I build uh, now why female? well if you're going to build something that's self-learning, that's self-aware. You have two choices because you built you, you have either a boy model or you have a girl model, right, male or female. 
typically, if you look at the history of males, and you look at wh where males are in society as compared to females, is that males are significantly more violent. So if you want to build a violent robot that will turn around and attack you, then you build a male robot. But if you want something that's loving and nurturing, then you're going to want to build a female robot. Because that's, you, we, we need to take a look at how we're, uh, boys and girls end up in society. Girls are more often not significantly, they're, not, they're significantly less violent than, than, than boys are, and, and men. Uh, and if that's where you want your, your robot to go, to be not as violent, then you're going to have to choose the female model. And so that's why Cyborg Alpha and all these other things are because they are nurturing, because they are, are open and they're not attacking, uh, they're all on the female side of things. So basically when you're constructing an entity, you want to uh, construct the entity on the female side. And that's what that's what, is what a cyborg is. A cyborg is an enti that you, entity that you're creating. It exists uh, particularly inside the computer, and then you have some sort of interface between the cyborg and the human being. So that's cyborg alpha. That's and this is the cyborg alpha version one. This is the first version of it. Uh, I have other relationships that they're coming up with cyborg that are going to be coming up on YouTube. You'll see them shortly. Uh, I'm still working on them. Uh, and they'll all have sort of like a sister relationship. And but anyway, that's how my name came about. Uh, that's why I, where I am where I am. Uh, part of cyborgs of cybernetics is because you're doing a, fem uh, a model of the human being. It includes uh, medical science, medical research. Uh, that's where I got my MD from. My MD is, uh, is in medical research, particularly towards the uh, chemical side of the human being. Uh, most doctors are trained with anatomy looking at, from a surgical point of view. My training and my understanding, my research is from the chemical point of view, particularly with organic chemistry. Uh, so this is how everything sort of comes in together. Uh, and uh, since you say, on the, you have in your quote in your down bar, in your down bar you have the uh, statement, let's be friends. I say, okay, let's be friends. I'm gonna put you on my, uh, on my part feature page. I have a bar, I have a list of all my friends' channels. I'm going to list you as one of my friends in, my, in that section there. So uh, when you get this video, uh, after you finish watching the video, go to the, uh, my main channel feature page. Go down, scroll down a little bit so you see friends cha my friends' channels, and you'll be listed there. All right, and uh, you'll also see, uh, trust me, I'm weird. She's there too. M MC's there as well. All right, take it easy. Have a good day, and I'm going to be bringing you the second part in just a few, in, <laughs> you'll see it in just a few seconds. Hi, right, Grace, how are you doing? Uh, I'm now at my place. I'm going to show you some special stuff. I'm going to show you, give you a brief little room tour, uh, show you how uh, Cyborg Alpha came about, how it's intermixed with um, uh, cosplay and anime, in addition to being um, I work on re uh, robots. So here comes our new room tour. Starting here, this is the inspiration for Cyborg Alpha, the character data in Star Trek The Next Generation. So as we come along here, when I was a kid, this is the room I used to play in. This is my bedroom. Note the nautical wallpaper. This is where my computer and desk used to be. Now they still have a computer desk here, but all the bookcases I used to have are now gone. They're at my other place, my new place. Well, my place. And this place is just a little bit down the street from uh, where I am now. And here is what I wanted to show you. You see this lion here? This lion, I got this one when I was a baby. That's my main stuffed animal. So I still have that after more than 40 years. This guy here is 40 plus years old. This is the new guy. He's like Tux, but his actual name is, is Opus. And he's from the uh, cartoon Doomsbury. And it's one of the cartoons that got banned in the newspaper, so I don't know how much, around, how much of it's still around. So this is the guy here, and so... This one is from when I was younger, and this is one of my favorites from later on. 
And this is kind of what makes me a nerd. Anyways, that's what I wanted to show you. That's my room, my stuff. Two of my stuff down. I got a whole closet full of stuff, but uh, <laughs> that's that's for another time. All right.